Well, hello, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like my vibe, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. Anybody who has, thank you. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. It is in the description of this video, as well as the link in the bio. I have many different options. I also have a $5 off sale. Today is uh, May 19th. Friday, May 19th. The sale does end on May 20th. So if you would like to use code MOM6, you can do that at the checkout and receive $5 off. If you would like to enter to win a $100 giveaway, you can do that by entering miracles, liking, and subscribing. But let's allow this for our family members who could use the extra come up. I will be drawing this on May 31st and Cash App or PayPal is necessary. Please do not get fooled by scammers pretending to be me. I will never contact you. I will never tell you I'm spiritually led to you. And I will never, ever, ever um, approach you about giving me money. If you would like to purchase a reading, you can either text me or message me from my website or purchase from my website. But they are the only three ways that I will ever contact you. Only if you come to me. And I certainly will not try to poach you in my comments. So please be aware that there are scammers out there, especially if you follow me on TikTok. There is a lot of fake accounts out there pretending to be me. So somebody here has been very critical, very uh, stubborn, very cold, very cut off to you. This person could have um, been controlling as well, okay? I feel for some of you, um, you, there's been a change in direction. You could possibly have a son to this person or this person has a son to somebody else and there's something going on currently either with custody or child support. It is a, there's a lot of working components. It's a big mess here. It's like, um, intertwined somehow. I don't know if you all have the same friends the same. Something here is very complicated though. I feel patience is needed in this situation because you are in the middle of this. Whatever this is here, I, it seems to me like this is a past lover or a current lover that has a mess going on in their life, but you're interconnected somehow. You all seem to be interconnected in some way with, um, you know, uh, is, mm, they could have a, a baby mom or dad, an ex-wife or an ex-husband, and, and that they have children too. But you're friends with that person's sister. I don't know. There's some kind of interconnecting going on. For some of you, it's just simply this person's life is very messy and there's a lot of working parts. And it manifests out in them being very cold, very controlled, very um, cut off. They could deal with a lot of childhood trauma. For some of you, this is your counterpart and you are in the middle of your journey. Um, things have been not easy and you perhaps are asking yourself, do I even want this anymore? Is this even my twin anymore? Um, now, for some of you, maybe this was a false twin. If somebody has intentionally hurt you, physically harmed you, or did things like this, this is most likely not your twin. Your twin will not hurt you in that way. I feel for a lot of you here, you're moving on and there's a lot of prosperity about to come in. You're quick witted right now and you're using your head, not your heart. You could be a teacher, a lawyer, a surgeon, a journalist, um, per se, a podcaster. You could do something on social or they could be as well. I feel for a lot of you here, this person is very stubborn. Like they will not talk about a certain thing or you can't, when they don't want to talk, they will not talk. They control this situation fully. They don't allow their, their heart chakra or their heart to lead. They, they think, they, they try to think their way through love and it just does not work that way. It's never going to work that way. So for them, they feel out of control when they start to have feelings because they're always in their head. This person could be an air sign, but they have this whatever attitude now. They're not playing their cards right. They've been very neglectful to you. They're playing games, not serious, unsure of their intentions. They're careless. 
I feel this person's been careless with your connection and you could have discovered something or will soon. There could be an epiphany coming for you. You're being guided to dive deep here for your answers. But again, prosperous life, unexpected windfall, knowing your self-worth and value, baby. This is where you are. You, there is a change in direction in your life. And I feel you are saying no more. You are not going to control me. You're not going to control this. If you don't want to do A, B, and C with me, well, then I'm going over here. I'm going this direction. I know your life is crazy, but if you can't get it together, I'm not going to stay stick around for this anymore. Most of you, that is where you are. I feel you're being bold. You're being brave here. And spirit is saying now is not the time. Now, you do have a unbreakable bond with this person. For some of you, you could have been back and forth and back and forth with them, and you're just so tired of it. They want to control you even when you're not together. They don't want you to see other people or they don't want you to do certain things. If you have children to this person, I feel like they try to control you with the, with the kids or they could try to control you by coming in occasionally and giving you some D or giving you some V or doing something here. They're trying to control the situation. So many things remind me of you and I wish things could be different. This person does wish things could be different, but they have not been willing to make the changes that are needed here. And that is the problem. They never make any changes. They want to stay exactly the same, but have things be different. And I feel like you are fed up and you are going in a new direction. Spirit is asking you to not worry because there will be truth. There will be honesty here coming in. You have some raw power, some victory, some breakthroughs coming in for you very, very soon. Tell me what this person, why are they playing games? Why are they playing games, spirit? What are they playing games about? Because they're in their mind, like I said, it's self-imposed restrictions, right? It's them going through this, it's self-imprisonment. They're in their head. They could have psychological issues for some of you. For others, this person is just beat up. They're wounded. They're a wounded warrior, but they're beat up because they have done this. Like all the trauma and the trouble that comes into this person's life is them bringing it on their self. I feel for a lot of you, they feel like you're the sun. You are the sun. You are the light in the darkness. But the thing is, is this person here needs to stop trying to control you or stop trying to control the situation. They could be trying to control the flow of information that gets comes to you as well. I feel like for some of you, this person ghosted you and then they come in and love bomb. They come in and say, oh, I missed you. I really want to see you. And you're, you're, you know, seeing them at midnight or, and then you won't see them again for two weeks. And then they'll call you at 1 a.m. or they'll call you, you know, in the afternoon and say they, they want to come spend the weekend and then you won't see them again. There's something here going on like this. They seem to be having some sort of a rebirth, some sort of an inner calling, or you are. I feel for a lot of you, you have some new prosperity about to flow in for you or a new career or a new job that you're working on. Yeah, this person is always, thank you, Spirit, for confirming what they're doing is strategically lying to you or sneaking away from somebody else to come in. But at the same time, they're fighting you off. They're blocking you. This person could block you every other week. You could realize that they block you like um, when they're, you know, in the middle of the day, you may never hear from this person or you may never hear from them at night, let's just say, because they're with somebody else and you realize that you're blocked certain times or at certain periods that they just unblock you and block you or something. There's something they're doing to control the situation here, y'all. I feel here, this person has backstabbed you. They have betrayed you and you are going through a major transformation in your life. You are saying no more and going a change. There's a change in direction for you. This could be an air sign, a Leo, a Virgo, a Sag. Um, you could be. I feel here that there's a lot of mental energy going on, a lot of air energy right now. Yeah, it's a really tricky time. A sly approach is necessary because this person 
is always acting slot. They're always sneaking or doing something here to try to control the situation. You are manifesting right now. The conditions for growth are optimal today, tomorrow, and the next, baby. You are manifesting some new prosperity. This person is, is about to start racing against time here because you are slowly moving forward. You're taking practical steps towards your goal. And I feel like you are not dealing anymore. Well, when that happens, they're about to start racing against the time. I feel like when you start standing in your power here, this is when this person is going to um, start making some changes. Now, I'm not telling you to walk away for them to chase you. Don't ever do that because you never know what a person will do. But when you start actually saying no more, you're not playing these games with me anymore. A lot of you at that point they are going to start to um, race against time for some of you this person is limited in what they can do because perhaps they're living with somebody else or there's there's something interconnected there's many working components and so i feel like they um are limited in the time they can see you or spend with you there is potential in a person or a situation to develop into something more in the future how you approach it is up to you, initial spark. A lot of you here, you're being guided to show this person that you're not playing games anymore, that you're moving forward here, and you're moving towards your goals and, and doing it here with, uh, you know, shining doing it with with ease and looking really good, by the way, right? So this person, at that point, something more is going to develop once you start moving towards your goals, once you stop allowing this person to move in and out of your life like they're doing. I feel a lot of you are going to have so much success, and I'm so happy and proud of you. I hope everybody has a beautiful and blessed day. Love and light.